Hi and a very good morning to all of you. How are you all? I am Gulapsa, your mentor, and I welcome you once again to another session of RBI 247, whereby on a regular basis we discuss the current financial happenings around us, which are very important from your exam perspective. So let's get started with today's session, whereby today we are going to talk about two very important news articles. The first is the revised guidelines that RBI has issued for the regional rural banks. As we all know, these are a part of the scheduled banks in India. So, unki kuch guidelines ko RBI ne revise kiya hai so that they can provide the internet banking facility to its customers. So, what are the revised guidelines? Plus, was internet banking facilities not provided to the customers of regional rural banks? All of these questions will be answered once we discuss the very first article. The second news talks about, talks about the implication of one of the direction, one of the guidelines that RBI had issued on credit and debit card issuances. And it says that the credit card base of major credit card issuers has eroded or has declined in quarter two of the financial year 2022-23. So, this is a factual. Hai. This will help you in providing, a, in having a better understanding of the implication of whatever directions and guidelines are issued by RBI. And such points can be used by you whenever you try answering in your descriptive answers or if certain questions based on this are asked in your interview. So, you will get help here. So, let's get started and discuss with the very first news that is offering of internet banking facility to, uh, to buy the regional rural banks to its customers. Now, before studying the revised eligibility criteria, let us first understand what was the scenario tha in case of regional rural banks. First and foremost, whenever you hear the name regional rural bank, one common thing that comes in your mind is that these banks must be catering to the needs of the rural people, the unserved and the underserved population of our country. Yes, very correct. Now with this, one more thing would, would have appeared or would have would have been there in your mind is that these people, since they are the underserved and unserved population or the financially non-literate people of the country. That means they are not well versed with any kind of mobile facility. And apart from that, they do not have the financial knowledge. Financial literacy nahi hai in logon ke paas. And that's the reason why the internet banking facility was not extended to the customers of the regional rural banks till 2015. The 2015 tak koi bhi kisi bhi prakar ki internet banking facility provide nahi ki gayi thi to the customers of RRBs. However, in the, that very same year, in the month of November, November 2015, RBI came up with a guideline, a direction whereby it said that RRBs, the regional rural banks, can provide with the internet banking facility, can extend the internet banking facility to the customers. Why did RBI came up with such a direction in 2015? For the very reason that, as you all know, this RRBs were facing lots of losses. And because of no internet banking facilities, many people were not attracted. The financially literate people or the ones who were a bit well off were not uh, were not attracted to come to uh, to come and have an account with RRBs. Apart from that, there was a growing demand to have internet banking facilities, and that's the reason why, in order to enhance the customer the customer services, these guidelines were issued by RBI, whereby now the RRBs can extend the internet banking facility to its customers. I hope history is clear. Ho gayi hai. Now there are two kinds of uh, two kinds of internet banking facilities that can be provided to the customers. The first is the known transaction based, which is also known as the view only facility. Known transaction based means all those transactions which does not involve any kind of fund transfer. So, koi bhi, kisi bhi prakar ka, agar paisa transfer nahi ho raha hai, all of these transactions will be known as the view only facility of the internet banking which includes checking your balances, printing out your passbook or asking for a passbook, 
बैलेंस इंक्वायरी बैलेंस व्यूइंग अकाउंट स्टेटमेंट डाउनलोड और सप्लाई ऑफ चेक बुक्स ऑल ऑफ दीज आर इंक्लूडेड इन दी व्यू ओनली फैसिलिटी ऑफ इंटरनेट बैंकिंग सो एनी आर आर बी एनी रीजनल रूरल बैंक वॉन्ट्स टू प्रोवाइड द व्यू ओनली इंटरनेट बैंकिंग फैसिलिटी टू इट्स कस्टमर्स then it can do so and for that no prior approval of RBI is required यहाँ पे RBI बी आई की प्रायर अप्रूवल की जरूरत नहीं है बिकॉज नो काइंड ऑफ फंड ट्रांसफर इज इन्वॉल्व बस नॉन ट्रांजेक्शनल है अकाउंट की इंक्वायरी कर ली बैलेंस देख लिया फॉर दैट आर बी आई की रिक्वायरमेंट नहीं है बट वेर ऑल आर आर बी इज एलिजिबल to even have this view only facility no only those rrb which have implemented the core banking solution and migrated to this internet protocol version 6 so this talked about the technology so this is the minimum or the basic requirement of technology that is you must have an internet protocol of the version 6 इतना ज्यादा इसके अंदर नहीं घुसना है टेक्निकल नहीं जाना है हमें इट्स जस्ट द टेक्नोलॉजी विच टेक्नोलॉजी वर्जन सिक्स ऑफ द इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल एंड सच आर आर बीज द रीजनल रूरल बैंक मस्ट बी और मस्ट बी एनरोल्ड टू द कोर बैंकिंग सोल्यूशन ऑफ आर बी आई कोर बैंकिंग सोल्यूशन क्या होता है इट इज बेसिकली सेंट्रलाइज सिस्टम a centralized system provided by rbi by the name e kuber now this name is important agar exam mein aa gaya then you should be very clear that the core banking solution of rbi is known as e kuber it is a centralized system it is a one stop solution for all the customers of the banks as well as for all the corporate customers that is all the banks as well to have or to provide customer centric services 24 by 7 so any kind of customer uh, customer centric services are provided here in the e kuber or the core banking solution for example let's suppose your hometown suppose my hometown is in dimapur i have an sbi account in dimapur branch now since i have a SBI account in Nimapur branch I should only be allowed to use my facility such as ATM facility to withdraw or to deposit only for this branch the Nimapur branch but no I am also able to access the Delhi branch for example the north campus branch in delhi to is wale branch ko bhi main istemal kar pa rahi hu and atms all over delhi or all over the country is available for me to use so that i can use my atm to withdraw the money so this facility is provided by the e kuber or the core banking solution whereby any kind of a transactions based on your bank account can be done from anywhere of the country if you have from any branch of the country if you have an account in one branch agar aapka account ek branch mein hai then you can undertake any transaction any kind of information can be taken out from any other branch across the country because all of these branches of the banks and all these banks are interlinked to one common solution that is the cbs core banking solution i hope this is clear to you right agar mai नॉर्थ कैंपस के ब्रांच में पैसे डालती हूँ एंड दैट गेट्स क्रेडिटेड एंड दैट्स गेट्स क्रेडिटेड टू एन अकाउंट व्हिच आई हैव इन डीमापुर राइट सो दिस इज द फैसिलिटी प्रोवाइडेड बाय द सीबीएस इसके बारे में आगे भी पढ़ेंगे अभी के लिए आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू सो ओनली दो आर आर बीज विच हैव इम्प्लीमेंटेड द कोर बैंकिंग सोल्यूशन एंड हैव वर्जन सिक्स ऑफ द इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल आर अलाउड टू हैव the internet banking facility and in case if you want only the view only facility that is the non transactional facility for that no prior approval of rbi is required i hope this is clear to you simple right next is that if you want to give the facility of transactional one the transactions based so if you want to provide internet banking facility with transactions then for that prior approval of rbi is required and for this only so this is given this you should comply with apart from that there are other eligibility criteria that rbi lays down which needs to be fulfilled by by an regional rural bank in order to provide the internet banking transaction based facility i hope this is clear to you simple 
very simple very clear right aur jo revised guidelines aaye hain this is for this only the transaction based facility now अगर आप व्यू ओनली फैसिलिटी प्रोवाइड करते हो अपने कस्टमर्स को इफ यू आर एन आर आर बी प्रोवाइडिंग द व्यू ओनली फैसिलिटी देन सच इंटीमेशन दैट यू हैव स्टार्टेड और यू हैव कमेंस द बिजनेस ऑफ व्यू ओनली इंटरनेट बैंकिंग फैसिलिटी शुड बी इंटीमेटेड टू द रीजनल ऑफिस ऑफ आर बी आई एंड नबार्ड विद इन वन मंथ ऑफ ऑपरेशनलाइजेशन अगर आपने नवंबर वन को शुरू किया व्यू ओनली फैसिलिटी देन बाई द एंड ऑफ दिस मंथ द कमेंसमेंट ऑफ और द ऑपरेशनलाइजेशन ऑफ दिस फैसिलिटी शुड बी कम्युनिकेटेड टू द रीजनल ऑफिस ऑफ आर बी आई एज वेल एज नबार्ड सिंपल नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द रिवाइज गाइडलाइंस सो this revised guidelines first and foremost is applicable to the rrbs providing the transactional facility as we have talked about second why has rbi done the amendments or revision so rbi has done this amendment in exercise of its rights conferred under section 35a of the banking regulation act 1949 yahan ye cheez aapko dhyan rakhna padega since this relates to an entity right और जितने भी ये ट्रांजेक्शन रिलेटेड एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया होता है या उसमें कुछ भी चेंजेस करने होते हैं ऑल ऑफ दिस कैन बी डन बाय अमेंडिंग और एक्सरसाइजिंग द पावर्स अंडर सर्टेन सेक्शंस ऑफ द बीआर एक्ट 1949 ना कि आरबीआई एक्ट राइट तो ये वाले ध्यान आपको रखने हैं एंड दिस सर्कुलर हैज ऑलरेडी बिन कमेंस एंड इट हैज कम इन टू फोर्स फ्रॉम नवंबर वन नवंबर वन से ही ये शुरू हो गया है एंड दिस विल बी एप्लीकेबल टू ऑल द रीजनल रूरल बैंक सो दिस टॉक्स अबाउट द वेरियस रीजनल रूरल बैंक अर्लियर वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ रीजनल रूरल बैंक आफ्टर द नाइनटीन सिक्सटी नाइन नेशनलाइजेशन ऑफ द बैंक बट सिंस दे वे परफॉर्मिंग दे वे नॉट परफॉर्मिंग वेल एंड दे वे इनकरिंग लॉट्स ऑफ लॉसेस consolidation of all of these has been done and as of now we have around 40 to 45 regional rural banks now let's talk about the revised criteria eligibility criteria now why has rbi revised the criteria first and foremost to allow or to attract more of the regional rural banks to come and to provide the internet banking facility to the customers for instance pehle ye jo net worth 50 crores aapko dikh rahi hai na it was 100 crores so any rrb having a minimum net worth of 100 crores were allowed or were eligible to provide the internet banking facility but now it has been revised it has been declined reduced so if any rrb having a net worth of 50 crores at least 50 crores as on the 31st march of the previous financial year are allowed or are eligible to provide internet banking facility this we have already talked about full implementation of the core banking solution so this rrb should be registered with the core banking solution of rbi which was introduced in 2012 by the name e kubir right and i have as i have said customers can access their accounts from any branch for example me i have an account in dimapur branch but i can access from any branch anywhere in the country irrespective of where the physical where they have physically opened their accounts maine dimapur mein khola tha but i can access anywhere across the country so this is the facility provided by cbs the core banking solution and you should have a minimum internet protocol of version 6 apart from that the rrbs should comply with the minimum prescribed capital adequacy ratio as applicable for time to time so for instance agar 10% is the capital adequacy ratio then such rrbs should have maintained 10% of the capital as a cushion so that they can use this cushion in order to absorb losses at times of any financial exigencies now नेटवर्थ की बात कर ली इसको रिड्यूस कर दिया इन ऑर्डर टू अट्रैक्ट मोर आर आर बीज टू हैव टू प्रोवाइड इंटरनेट बैंकिंग फैसिलिटीज अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट द नेक्स्ट एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया टॉक्स अबाउट द नॉन परफॉर्मिंग एसेट्स इट सेज द नॉन परफॉर्मिंग एसेट्स ऑफ एनी आर आर बी इफ इट इज नॉट मोर देन फाइव परसेंट देन इन दैट केस देर ऑल्सो एलिजिबल पहले यहाँ पे था थ्री परसेंट इट वॉज मोर स्ट्रिंजेंट द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया वॉज मोर स्ट्रिंजेंट बट नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू provide or in order to encourage to so, isko thoda sa leniency provide ki hai and if suppose an rrb is having 
net NPA not more than five. At most five percent, then they are also eligible. Apart from that, they should have a minimum net profit. They should have net profit in two of the immediately previous financial years. So, in the last two years, they should have net profit and not have losses. So, these are the criteria. I hope you will remember. CBS, Internet Protocol version 6, minimum net worth of 50 crores. Net NPA, you should not exceed 5% from the net NPA. Your net profit should be there for at least two minimum years. Right? Two minimum previous years. And whatever is the capital adequacy ratio, you should comply with that. Apart from that, we have other eligibility criteria, criteria which says that there should be no instance of default in maintenance of CRR and SLR requirements. This we have talked a lot of time. Jo hamana reserve requirement hai. Certain requirements are required to be maintained with the bank and certain with RBI. The jo bhi minimum reserve requirement hai, that should be maintained and there should be no default of maintenance during the immediate preceding financial year. The 2023, 22, 23 year hai, 2021, 22 mein aapne maintain kiya hua chahiye. Apart from that, the bank, the RRB should have satisfactory track record of regulatory compliances. So whatever regulations that RBI comes with, these RRBs should be should have been complying with all of these regulatory compliances. And apart from that, they should not there should not be any instances of monetary penalty imposed on such RRBs by RBI. So RBI ne koi bhi monetary penalty imposed nahi kiya hona chahiye if they have not fulfilled any of the regulatory compliances in the preceding two financial years. So ye yaad rakhna zaruri hai aapke liye. Pichle do saalo mein koi monetary penalty nahi imply hone chahiye, impose hone chahiye in RRBs pe. And lastly, it says that the RRB should have a sound internal control system. So jo unka internal control system that should be very sound and that should be approved. It should be audited by a CISA qualified independent auditor. So like we have so many certifications, ICI ki certification ho gai, ICWA ki certification ho gai. Similarly in the audit, audit section, this is the, or this is the certification known as Certified Information Systems Auditor. So agar kisi bande ne, suppose any person who has qualified this CISA and has the CISA qualified certification, then only such independent auditors should have audited the accounts or the sound or the internal control system of the regional rural banks. So these are the revised eligibility criteria or you should understand that the old criteria Unko thoda sa leniency provide ki hai so that more of the internet banking facilities could be provided to the customers of the regional rural banks. Now this would have been clear to you. Now let's talk very little about the regional rural banks. First and foremost, kab introduced kiya gaya tha? So it was introduced with the 1976 Act of the Regional Rural Banks and it is a government sponsored regional based rural lending institution. So it is a bank that provides rural finances to the unserved and the underserved population, to the migrant laborers, to the agri small and marginal farmers and socially, socio-economically weaker sections of the society. So in ke liye ye ke banaya gaya tha and their mission is to fulfill their credit needs. Ab ye dekha gaya that people were resorting to the middlemen. Middlemen ke piche log bhaag rahe te and they were charging exorbitant high, very high rate, rates of interest. And because of that many people were defaulting on making such payments. Isi liye regional rural banks laya gaya tha so that it can cater to the credit needs of such people. And therefore it was a government sponsored bank whereby the central government will have 50% of the shareholding of the regional rural banks, 15% will be shared by the state government and the sponsor bank, there will be a sponsor bank. For example, certain regional rural banks are sponsored by RBI, by, SEP, by State Bank of India, certain banks are sponsored by some other banks. So, SA sponsors banks banaye gaye hai so that they can help such RRBs to perform well. So, in ki contribution 35% rakhi gayi hai so that all of these entities can contribute and help in 
in achieving or in providing in performing well for the regional rural banks so that these regional rural banks perform well in ke losses na ho and they are operating on a much better level their shareholding plays an important role because none of them would think or would want to have a loss right however we have seen that there has been lots of losses in case of regional rural banks first and foremost reason is that जितने भी ये लोन्स देते हैं आउट ऑफ दैट सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट इज मैंडेटेड टू बी गिवन टू दी प्रायोरिटी 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 सेक्टर लेंडिंग आई एम सॉरी प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर लेंडिंग पीएसएल आपने पढ़ा होगा राइट व्हिच इंक्लूड्स एग्रीकल्चर एजुकेशन हेल्थ एनीथिंग व्हिच द गवर्नमेंट एंड आर बी आई इज ऑफ प्रियोरिटी नेचर फॉर द ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द कंट्री तो वो सारे सेक्टर्स डिफाइन किए गए हैं आर के द्वारा एंड these banks the regional rural banks are required to extend 75% of the total loans agar 100 rupees is the total amount that rrbs have in their hand then out of that 75% should be given to this psl and it has been found that these rrbs provide 90% of their loans to the priority sectors if we talk about for other commercial banks for them it is just 40% and what we have seen is that these commercial banks do not provide this priority sector lending loans and they provide to the private borrowers and thereby, thereby they earn huge interest from such borrowers ab ek cheez ye dekhoge aap ki priority sector lending mein aapko itna zyada rate of interest nahi milega you'll be getting a very lower interest but if you are providing such loans to some private borrowers they will be providing you with much higher interest rates so these commercial banks has been playing very well with this and they have been extending all of their amount available with them to provide loans to the private sector and in order to meet this 40% criteria they have been purchasing the priority sector lending certificate to pslcs khareed rahe hain wo rrb se right so most banks has been buying lending certificates from rrbs inko 75% maintain karna hai but ye 90% maintain kar rahe hain to jo bhi extra 15% hai this is being lent to this commercial banks and in order to revive this regional rural banks we are or the government is thinking to encourage such rrbs to come up with more of the internet banking facilities so that it provides more of the services to the customers and this is the reason why and if they perform well that they can be merged with the sponsored bank so this was about the region rural banks i hope it is clear to you it was in detail for your understanding aur aapko iski jo eligibility criteria hai wo samajh aa gayi hogi now let's talk about the second news article now this says that the credit base of the credit issuers has eroded during the second quarter and because of rbi's guidelines so rbi ne recently in april 2022 had come up with a master direction on the issuance of credit and debit card whereby it stated that if any card any credit card is not being used or is inactive for more than a year if it is inactive for more than a year in that case the credit card issuer should intimate the card holder that your card is inactive and that's the reason why we are going to stop or close your card if on intimation on providing information to the customer the customer do not responds back in that case if no reply is received then within 30 days of the intimation 30 din ke andar within one month the card issuer can close the card provided all the payments are done by the card holder koi due nahi hai there is no outstanding dues and subsequently once the card is closed such information is to be provided to the cics so we have four cics in in india we have talked about this you need to mention the names of this four cics theek hai credit information companies the companies which provide you with the credit score to so, inko information provide karna hai within a period of 30 days you need to intimate that such such cards has been closed theek hai so this was the guideline that rbi has issued on inactive credit cards and because of this iski implementation ke wajah se we have seen that in the second quarter 
right in the second quarter ending september 2022 a lot of credit cards has been closed by the credit card issuers for instance we can see that we have seen a decline of 2.5 million card holders 2.5 million credit cards has been closed down had been shut down however if we talk about prior to this very guideline very direction there were on an average increase or a net addition of over 1.5 million credit cards a month so her mahine 1.5 million credit cards were issued to the customers but because of this addition well, because of this guideline there has been a decline now these numbers are not important what important is that what is important here is that ki bahut bar kya hota hai log credit cards le lete hain but because since these cards were issued at no processing cost koi cost involved nahi tha free of cost these cards were issued to the people and every person had three to four credit cards with them but uh, they were not using such cards and therefore because of the guidelines that rbi has issued all of these redundant cards which were not active for the past one year 12 mahine mein active bhi nahi hua all of them has been closed by rbi and that's the reason why the credit card issuers are finding or seeing a significant drop in the card base of the credit card theek hai so this is the list of the uh, of the companies which have seen a reduction for example hdfc bank which is the largest issuer of credit card has seen the largest reduction in the net credit card uh in quarter 2 of the financial year 2022-23 with 1.62 million cards being closed down similarly we have axis bank icici bank and canara bank having a decline in their credit cards however there are gainers as well in this in the same in the very same period in quarter 2 we have seen that sbi and kotak mahindra bank have seen an increase in the issuance or addition of credit card for instance sbi has seen a net addition of around 3 lakhs credit cards and the reason why we have seen an increase or a net addition of credit cards for sbi is that because 95% of all the credit cards issued by sbi is a fee based card that is they charge a fee so only those customers who are willing to pay the fee would be taking that card agar suppose unhone one year tak use hi nahi kiya wo khud hi ban kar denge why would they be paying the fee right why would the why would they be paying the fee for the credit card which they are not using and that's the reason why only those customers opt for such cards which which they require in genuinity so this is the reason why they have seen an increase because people are liking the card and only those people who really need that card are going for such cards so these are just data and numbers itna zaruri nahi hai it's just to show that there were so many cards and because of the competition scene and because of so many new non bank nbfc is coming up with so, such such lucrative offers people had so much of credit cards but it was no use right so i hope this is clear to you now there are questions for you the first question says you need to identify the correct statements with regards to e cuber so we have already studied this cbs solution right which says it is a core financial service of rbi you need to identify the correct statement the second it says it provides a centralized one stop solution for customer centric services on a 24 by 7 basis third using this e cuber customers can access their account from any branch any time irrespective of where they have physically opened their account so you need to identify the in, you need to identify the correct statements now moving on to the next question which says you need to identify the incorrect statements Uh, about the recently issued guidelines by RBI for RRBs. The first is says the recent changes has been issued for both internet banking view only as well as transactional facility. This we have talked in detail. The second it says the changes has been brought by exercising powers under section 35A of the RBI Act. This also we talked about. And third. RBI for the very first time decided to allow RRBs to extend banking facility in the year 2019 this also we talked about you need to identify the incorrect statements moving forward to the third question which says 
According to the master direction on credit and debit card issuances, you need to identify the correct statement. First, it says that card issuers should start the process of closing the card if the car credit card is inactive for more than 15 months. Second, such closure should be intimated to the customers within 20 days. And third, information regarding closure of the card should be updated with the credit information company within a period of 45 days. This we have discussed already. You need to identify the correct statements. Now moving on to the fourth question for today, which says we need to identify the correct statements with regard to the eligibility criteria. So which of the following eligibility criteria is required for an RRB to offer internet banking facility with transaction based facility, transaction based facility, kaun si criteria follow karne pe aap deep sakte ho. First, your net worth should be rupees 100 crore, net NPA should not be more than 3%, this we have discussed. Third, net profit in the two immediately preceding, there should be net profit in the two immediately preceding financial years and fourth, no instance of default in maintenance of the reserve requirements during the immediately preceding financial year. So you need to identify the correct statement. So this is all for today that I wanted to discuss with you. Answers are provided in the PDF. In case of any doubt, you can always write it down in the comment section. And if something is, if you are not able to understand something, that also you can write it down. I'll be answering them in one or two days and this was all for today i hope you enjoyed the session keep learning till then take care and bye bye